I always find it hard to decide what to eat with my bokho. Now today I'll be showing you a dish that's best enjoyed with a slurp and a dunk. Mama ye sekfan, mami te di sekfan, ba me ang kum. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and here at Walking Kin, I share my childhood recipes so you can reconnect with yours. Today is all about satisfying both your slurp and dunk by having your noodles and bread soak up all the flavor. To start, you'll need to marinate the beef. We like to use one kilo of gravy beef and 800 grams of brisket. Cut the meat into large chunks, roughly six centimeters wide. Then marinate the pieces with one packet of bok spice mix, which we get from our local Vietnamese supermarket. Continue marinating with three cloves of finely chopped garlic and one finely sliced onion. Throw in two Chinese cinnamon barks and four star anises, then give everything a good mix. Set it aside to marinate for a minimum of 20 minutes. A full list of these ingredients can be found at walkingkin.com where we share step-by-step -step instructions so you can cook this recipe at your own pace. Now you'll need to make a beef stock. Bring a pot of water to a boil and add one kilo of beef bones. You can add more to preference for a richer stock. Once the water boils, wash the bones the same way we do with Mama's chicken and pork stock. Fill up 10 litres of water in a clean pot. Bring that to a boil and put the cleaned bones in. Peel the skin off 20 grams of ginger and add it into the pot. Let it simmer on medium heat for three hours. Now this is optional, but our family likes to add beef tendon to our bok To repair it, fill up a new pot with water, bring it to a boil and cook the tendons for two minutes to remove any odors. Wash them clean, then add them into the stock to cook for another three hours or until it softens to your preferred texture. When they're cooked, take the tendons out and cut them into smaller segments. Now let's add flavor to the stock. Remove the skin off three onions and 30 grams of ginger. Halve each aromatic and lightly smash the ginger using a mortar and pestle until they've just started to split. Then place them flat side down on a pan to cook until charred on both sides. When they're ready, add them into the stock. Turn the heat to high and pour in one liter of coconut water. Season everything with 40 grams of rock sugar, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, and two and a half tablespoons of salt. To cook the meat, start by dividing two stalks of lemongrass into five centimeter segments. Lightly smash them until they start to split. Heat up a pan on high heat and pour in five tablespoons of cooking oil. When it's hot, throw in the lemongrass and stir for five seconds. Add 280 grams of tomato paste, then stir them for another five seconds. Turn the heat back up to high and add the meat in. Cook them for one to two minutes or until all the sides are seared. Mama's tip is to cook the meat in smaller batches. When it's done, pour everything into the soup and let it come back to a simmer while you work on the other ingredients. Peel 400 grams of carrots and remove the tips. Cut them into four centimeter segments. Repeat it for the daikon and add them into the soup. As you let it simmer for another hour or until the meat is soft, think about how you'll be serving it. For me, when I only have noodles, something feels amiss. Likewise, when I only have baguettes, something also feels missing. So when we make bokho at home, there's only one way to serve it. First, you'll need to blanch your noodles in hot water. Our family uses pho noodles, which we get pre-cooked from Vietnamese grocers. To assemble your bowl, pour the noodles in and top it with a tendon, beef, carrots, and daikon. Garnish with Thai basil and finely sliced onion. And there you have it, Mama's Boko, a noodle soup that is best served with both noodles and baguettes. For the complete experience, you just can't have one without the other. If you're ready to enjoy this hearty favorite, here are our tips for the best results. Number one, marinate the meat overnight. This will help the spices infuse into the meat for a deeper flavor. Number two, use fresh ingredients. There aren't many aromatics that go into this dish, so make each one count. Number three, skim the scum. This will help to keep the soup clear and grit free. There's nothing more satisfying than eating bok on a cold winter's night, surrounded by the people you love. Everyone would choose to have both bread and noodles, so dunking their baguettes, slurping up their noodles and having the best time is just what we do. To enjoy the noodle soups you grew up with, like and subscribe to our channel for more. 
And if you love this type of recipe, check out Mum's Bun Gun, which is also one of my favourites. I'll see you in the next video.